so what are you doing here again? You know, the hippo made out with, like, all the women in accounting. That is good TV. Don't you have a girlfriend or maybe even a hot little boy toy? We can film the two of you up and towels at each other. Birdman, I was told that the documentary was a little lacking on your side. We have to show these people just how much we put on the table each day. The dangers of the job. The sexy dangers. Like a crocodile in a miniskirt. Dangers? Camera boy, come with me. I'll show you how we call the herd. Interns, beware. This reality show thing is getting out of hand. Yeah, Phil asked me to replace the Dijon in the break room with mustard gas. Survival of the sexy. Ha ha! Mr. Birdman, I need your help. Oh, uh, hey. Yaki Doodle, right? How's it hanging? Doodle 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 doodle. My dad wants not to doodle again, which I said took the magoo's frustration. But I wanted something to make me feel tough, so I changed it to nail gun. Nail gun? Well, when you're slapping wood, you need a nail gun. Uh, so what are you in for, uh, nails? Apparently, there's also a the game nail gun that robbed your bank. Yes, it was me. Well, how hard can it be to prove a tiny duck didn't commit a bank robbery? This is a case of mistaken identity. I'll take the case. Hello, folks. I was not. Look out. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Flat tire. Anyway, this is the case of state versus nail gun. Let's just get on with it. It's all pretty cut and dry. Someone going by the name of Nail Gun robbed the Iron Safe Bank on 3rd with a heist note. Then they picked up this duck going by the name of Nail Gun and he signed a confession. You're very good. Plus, a statement recorded at the scene of the crime claimed the masked robber was short and talked with a lisp. I don't really see how the robber having a mask comes into play in this case at all. I mean, how many people in their day-to-day -day lives have to wear masks to get their job done? The bird is right. The mask is inconsequential. Scratch it from the list! My client doesn't have a lisp. What, are you kidding me? Hey, Duck, do you think you have a lisp? <laughs> Yeah, maybe he has a bit of a lisp. He has a horrible speech impediment, obviously referred to as a lisp by the witness. Nothing further, Your Honor. Your witness, Birdman. About a week ago, I decided to change my name to Nail Gun. Before I knew what was going on, I was arrested for robbing a bank. Then maybe slide it to fish and milk, or else I would be in big trouble. I'm scaring everyone who's so mad at me. Very good. This one with the chicken scratchings? Yes, Mr. Bird, sir. They said if I did it, sign it, I would get the electric chair. I think this confession note says it all. 
The duck signed a confession note admitting to the crime. How do you think that proves his innocence? Simple. My client may have written this, but it could say anything. How do you know he wrote his name? Maybe it's a, a drawing, a code, or even a map. Is this a map? Oh, where's the treasure? It's just my name. My client is insane. This duck has no clue what day it is. Heck, I bet my reputation he doesn't even know where he is right now. <laughs> I'm a tour. See, he thinks he's a horse. He said that he is in court. This is my client's handwriting on the confession note. Be it hard to decipher, it proves that this duck did not rob the bank. What? Ridiculous. How? The handwriting doesn't match. The heist note is written in a flowing script, where this confession note is written with webbed feet. Point taken. Very perceptive, Birdman. Nothing escapes you, does it? It doesn't take a real lawyer to see this duck is innocent. So, are you claiming that you're not a real lawyer, Birdman? <laughs> Do you have your legal license with you, by chance, to prove it? I, uh, left it in my other briefcase. Seriously? You tried a case without your legal license? That's grounds for imprisonment. Oh, God, fine, whatever. Is it lunch yet? Bailiff, take him away. Wait, wait, I, I, I have my correspondence school diploma at the office. I, I just need to go to the office. Birdman, have someone bring me your diploma, and I'll release you from prison. Maybe! I'm in jail. Again! How could this happen? My career, my professional image, my life! That's it! I have to call Peanut and ask him to get my license to mentor. Seven and Seven is my home away from home. You the new guy everyone's talking about? Harvey Birdman, attorney at law. Uh, excellent. Uh, check this out. I need you to call this phone number. That's toilet paper. Uh, I use the other ply. Paper is paper. Just call the number and ask the man who answers to take out the garbage. Got it? I, uh, it, it seems like a job for someone else. Uh, no. Uh, you're gonna do it. You don't have no choice. I'm not getting caught up in your evil schemes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, who said anything about evil? Did you hear him call us evil? <sighs> uh, so, is this an 888 or a 555? Just need to sneak a quick phone call. You don't have phone privileges. 
Oh, discipline. I admire that. I'll tell you what. In exchange for the call, I will give you my, uh, pudding pack from lunch. Huh? It's vanilla. Look, one of my snitches informed me that someone is planning an escape. Find out who and the phone is all yours. You have a deal! Hey, buddy! Uh... What have you been up to today? Making friends? Oh, that's an interesting cucumber you have on your bed. I'm on guard in detail. You tell anyone I'm smuggling cucumbers and I'll kill you. Have you made any calls since you got here? You talk a lot. You talk to the wrong people in here and it'll get you killed. It's always killing with you. How do I get to this garden? You know what? I'll just look around and find it. Doing a little gardening? Intense! A cross-pollination of bird and man! A bird-man, if you will. Harvey Birdman. And I will. Hello. I'm number two. Does the Birdman desire a genetically evolved potato? It is both delicious and filled with the power to get you through the day. More power than you could ever dream of. Genetically evolved? Oh, that sounds dangerous. I'm just cracking open the potato potential by increasing their natural electrolytes, filling them with power, surging their abilities, making them supreme among the tubers. So that means there's something in them? Nope. Just 100% Idaho goodness. So, do you tend to this garden by yourself? I have full access to the garden. However, some jerk decided to dump all these blue rocks onto it. It'll take me days to clear them all off. Just need to sneak a quick phone call. You don't have phone.
Whoa! 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 Hey, buddy. Do me a favor and don't mention this little fiasco to anyone in C-Block. I got a rep to maintain. Okay? Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure thing. Uh, what happened? Every now and then these things get a mind of their own. They speed up, slow down, go backwards. Really? Yeah. There have been a lot of strange electronic glitches around the prison lately. Hey, buddy! Uh... What I found in the garden! Blue Rock! Congratulations, you found a bunch of trash. Now get it out of here. I know you're hiding something behind your back. Stand aside before I blast you aside. You can blast me, but you better make damn sure that you kill me. Because if you don't, I won't make the same mistake with you. Wow, that's pretty hardcore. <laughs> you win. You're going to move if I have to make you. Come and get me. You. You leave me no choice. There you have it, the evidence you've been looking for. Someone was digging a tunnel. Wow, amazing work, Sherlock. Now just tell me whose cell you found this in and you can use the phone. I, I found it in, uh, in... It was those guys! Those little guys? Uh, yeah. I found it in their cell. 
Those little bastards. I knew it. Okay, then. message from some peeps on the inside. I'm supposed to say something about uh, trash to you. Hmm. You know, that sounds very close to a message I was supposed to get, but not exactly. I wish I could help you out, but I'm going to have to be super anal about that. Crap. I was told that you should probably take out the garbage. Consider it done. So it's been you. I was calling my mom. You're losing all your privileges from here on out. There's got to be something I can do to fix this. Not unless you're a lawyer. Really? It just so happens that I am. Harvey Birdman, attorney at law, at your service. Hmm. Well, conveniently we're having an in-prison court case in like five minutes. We'll forget about this little incident if you act as the prosecutor. Really? Um, sure. To, uh, uh, on one condition, though. I want you to send someone to my office to get my legal diploma. Fine. If you can win the case, we'll escort you. So, what's the case? The electronics are on the fritz. We think one of the prisoners has some sort of superpowers. Yeah. Like the lights flicker while I walk at night through C-Block. It's really scary. We even found a cell unlocked. So, I just need to find out what's causing these electrical disturbances. I'll take the case! Let's get started. So, what's this case about? Who am I prosecuting? Birdman? I was almost done with my community service. Go to your happy place, men talk. Go to your happy place. How can this be a fair trial? He's a real lawyer, and I'm not. That sounds good. I judge in favor of the defense. Case dis- Wait! Just give me a chance. How can I be both a real lawyer and also be in jail for not having a law license? Oh, you make an excellent argument, Birdman. For once! So, you'll let me out of jail. No, but I will let you keep playing pretend lawyer in this case. I'd like to call Dum Dum to the stand. It looks like this defendant is being accused of manipulating electrical devices using his mind. So, the little doggy is an electrical mind taker, huh? Well... Can you do this, you overgrown remote control? The fluorescents are now soft lights. Beat that, doggy! Dum Dum, if you would please give us your testimony. I brought my laundry back to my room. The guard shut the door and I heard it lock. Minutes later, I dropped to the floor with sharp pains in my heart. And when I came to, four guards were beating on me. Why were they beating you? Uh, apparently, my cell door was unlocked. I wouldn't know, because I think I was having a heart attack. What a coincidence. Having a heart attack at the same time as the electronic door unlocking. So what? 
What is having a heart attack have anything to do with an electronic lock? I'll make you... So, I see you have a pacemaker. You have heart problems? Uh, yeah, so? Well, a pacemaker is an electronic device that's supposed to regulate the heart. Uh, well, it must be messed up. Why would the defendant use mental powers to give himself a heart attack? I would like to call someone else to the stand. Number two, I call the organic gardener to the stand. Prepare for testimonial questioning. On what grounds? I need some sort of evidence. Genetic and... It says here that number two was a scientist before coming to prison. A scientist of tremendous power, carefully combining life forms, genetically creating... Just get on the stand without more talking. Stand up here. Yeah, okay. So, number two, tell us your story. Oh, not much to tell. I worked with Baron von Steemacher for a while, helping him surge in power, gaining more strength by the day, amassing unstoppable momentum. Then he kicked it. I fell in with the wrong crowd for a while. Bad stuff happened, and I was sentenced to electrocution. Wasn't he a member of F period, E period, A period, R period? Sure, nice guy all around, filled with unbeatable evil, flowing with the blackest of force, provided free bagels on Fridays. And what did you do for the Baron? I built a lot of evil machines. The Sonic Displacer, the Mask of Dementia, the Hands-Free Cellular Headset. Genetic and... Your file says you've been in the chair seven times. Yeah, I danced through death row seven times, but every time the power goes out just before they flip the switch. <laughs> Lucky me. How convenient. So tell us all just what makes you so lucky. Karma. Power. Charisma. Also, probably because of all my probational work, I'm really good with kids and smaller animals. Isn't there something else at work here? Couldn't you have done it with your scientific acumen? Something involving... You told me that you'd grown potatoes of amazing power. Couldn't they control electronic devices? Wow! How did fear never beat you? A machine-controlling potato. That seems like a stretch, Birdman. Straight from his garden. That electrolyte-filled potato could work as a battery. In theory, it could power a remote control device. Yeah, he's grasping for straws. He ain't got no proof or no case. Just some talk about some device. He's right. Without a device, you have no proof, Birdman. You have one hour to present the guard at the payphone with this device. Otherwise, the case will be thrown out. Boo! <laughs> So this whole uh, prison thing is starting to get really annoying. Uh, really? Is it the stabbings in the showers or the total lack of freedom that's getting to you? Well, this court thing in particular, the only way I can win this case so I can get out and become a lawyer again is by finding some device hooked into a potato. Uh, like the one Pixie and Dixie have? What are you doing in my cell? Uh, I came by to thank you for helping me take the garbage out. And for clearing me at the trial. Really? Wow. How 
no one's ever given me counterfeit money before. There, that stuff is like currency in here. I thought cigarettes were like currency in here. There, whoa. Look at the rich lawyer with his talk of cigarette currency. Hixie and Dixie have a potato device? I thought it was number twos. Oh, yeah. That guy makes the devices and sells them. But Pixie and Dixie have one in particular. Where did you see this? I need to find it. Uh, number two hides them somewhere when he's not using them. Should I be telling you all of this? You know what? That's all you get. I know when to shut my mouth. So, it's hidden somewhere in the prison. Hey guys, looking good just standing there. Really tough and cool. I heard you have a potato device. How about I buy that off you? You want some money, little guys? You have change for a thousand? Um, uh, okay. Keep the change. Here it is. A potato with stuff hooked to it. So that thing controls electronic devices. Well, I think it lights up dark areas, like a flashlight or something. I see. Well, you're an idiot. That is not going to help your case. Didn't he give you an hour? The potato remote device. I need to get this to the guard right away. Here it is. This time I'm sure of it. A remote control made from a potato. That's it. Thanks, Birdman. I'll tell the warden that you can leave tomorrow under an overly oppressive supervisor. Finally! Now I can prove that I'm a licensed lawyer and clear my name! Well, I cleared everything up and have my law license back again. And I won two cases! Oh, this is about as good as it gets. Nothing could ruin this day. <laughs>